Welcome to Beyond the Data. I'm Dr. Phoebe Thorpe, here to talk about dengue and chikungunya, diseases that are carried by mosquitoes. And with me is Dr. Mark Fisher from Fort Collins, Colorado. Thank you for joining us, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> um, the Aedes aegypti mosquito we heard a lot about today, um, it has some different behaviors, like it likes to rest on cloth and hide in closets. What are some of the other unusual behaviors it has? Well, Aedes aegypti mosquitoes and other similar mosquitoes live in and around the households where people live and in water sources around the households. They also tend to bite more during the daytime. That's their peak biting time, and that's a little different than some of the other mosquitoes that we're used to having that transmit other viruses here in the United States. Uh, okay, and then... Um, you, we have had some recent cases of dengue in our own backyard in the United States. Um, can you tell me what can we do to protect ourselves and our children from mosquito-borne diseases? Yes, well, dengue is a problem throughout tropical areas in the Americas and Africa and Asia, but we have had some recent cases in some parts of the United States, Florida and Texas. People can take some precautions to prevent uh, exposures to mosquitoes. They can use uh, mosquito repellents mm -hmm. on their skin or sometimes on clothes and uh, materials if they're out camping. They can also uh, dump water sources that are around their houses, um, like flower pots and um, kiddie pools and in gutters. Those are the places where the mosquitoes live and breed. Mm -hmm. Then when possible, they can also uh, wear long pants and sleeves to protect themselves mosquito from mosquito bites. Finally, when inside, if they have it, they can use air conditioning or have intact screens on windows and doors to keep the mosquitoes outside. Ah, okay. And another disease we heard about today is chikungunya. Um, that seems to be uh, a disease that not as many people are familiar with because it's uh, more recently come into the Americas. What can you tell us about the spread of that disease and the disease itself? So chikungunya is another virus that's spread by mosquitoes. It was first uh, identified in Africa in the 1950s, and that's where the name comes from, from a local African language. Uh, it caused disease in Africa and parts of Asia for a number of years, and then in the early 2000s started spreading further to other parts of the world didn't come to uh, the Americas until uh, 2013 when it was first identified in the Caribbean and then has spread uh, in 2014 throughout much of the Americas, including a few locally transmitted cases in Florida and cases among travelers returning from affected areas in the Caribbean and South America. And it causes fever and severe joint pains in people who uh, are infected by the virus. Mm -hmm. And do you, you know, one of the things I didn't hear you speak about Sorry to circle back, but one of the things I didn't hear you speak about is bed nets, um, because I'm sure that a lot of people hear mosquitoes and they think of prevention as bed nets, a way to do that. Um, why doesn't that work with this, with the Aedes aegypti mosquito? Well, bed nets are a very effective means of preventing uh, certain mosquitoes, especially ones that uh, bite at night, like the mosquitoes that transmit malaria. There are important ways of preventing these mosquito-borne diseases like dengue and chikungunya, but they're less effective because, again, many of the exposures to uh, these type of Aedes mosquitoes occur during the day when people are in mm -hmm. or around the house. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. and. Um, Tell me, what is CDC doing to help educate people, uh, especially healthcare providers, about dengue? Okay, so CDC and our partners at WHO developed an online training uh, for clinical management for healthcare providers, and that's available to people. It's a free training that they can get online. That's at the CDC uh, website. That's right. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Fisher. Thank you. And thank you for joining us, and join us next time for Beyond the Data.